You know, this ballot question would have asked Jackson County voters whether the Missouri, whether Missouri's trigger law should be repealed. Uh, but the result, it, the result of that vote would not have actually changed any law. Missouri law on abortion, which took effect immediately following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, that bans abortion at any stage of pregnancy, with, w even with, with no exception for rape or incest. The county referendum asked that this law be repealed. It needed six votes to get on the ballot. Opponents, though, successfully argued that while they supported a statewide referendum that could actually make law, they saw an advisory vote as, as rallying both sides of the abortion debate for no reason. You're giving a false sense of hope to whatever side you're on because, you know, in actuality, this does nothing. Um, you know, it's the same as us just calling down to the state and saying, you know, we think that people are against this or that people are for it. I agree with Dan. If this were to come up... Is now, a vote to repeal in Jackson County may have given the prosecutor here political cover for choosing not to enforce the abortion ban in Jackson County. But in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis already has suspended a county prosecutor for pledging not to enforce that state's abortion ban. Now, this would have been much, a much different referendum from the vote earlier this month in Kansas, where a majority of voters there agreed that the state's constitution guarantees a woman's right to an abortion. Pat Carey. All right, John Pepitone, thank you.